what actions do you think can be taken to support movements towards peace, uh, both between Israelis and Palestinians, as well as within the entire region, such as uh, the Abraham Accords? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, earlier just now, you and I were, were, were talking about the what and the how. Yes. And I think that when we talk about establishing peace, um, centering people's humanities, protecting people's rights, it's, it's not just about the what, and the, the end goal, which often gets a lot of focus. Um, but I actually think it's much more about the how and the way that we are coming together and how we are, how we interpret that what and how we act uh, in, you know, the actions that we take to get to that what. And so what this really is about is that it's a question more than anything else about process. And so we really need to make sure that, um, that we are valuing a process where all parties are respected and have, you know, a lot of equal um, opportunity to really make sure that we are negotiating good faith, et cetera. That being said, you know, I think that there's, there's just this one central issue of, um, of settlements, because if we, if the what, if the what that has been decided on is to stay, then the action of settlements is in, it, it's not, the how to get to that what. And so, you know, I think that that's a central thing that we need to make sure that um, we center and that we value um, Jewish and, and rather we value Israeli, um, uh, uh, we value the, the, the safety and, and the human rights of Israelis. We value the safety and the human rights of Palestinians in that process that is similar and that uh, on, on um, equal footing. And so all of that is extremely important in that process. Um, and, you know, I do believe that, <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's it may seem flowery, but, and I know people have been saying this for, for generations, but it is what people need and it is what people want. And the centering and the value of human rights is really, I think, the path to peace here. We have to make sure, you know, that we apply principles broadly across. And, you know, I, I've, I've done a lot of policy work in this space. Um, and to me, it is important to apply these principles across. You know, I, I don't believe that, just like here in the United States, I don't believe that children should be detained. You know, I think that starting on those basic principles of human rights, I think we can build a path to peace together.